Researchers have actually called this the physiological guardian. Hey everybody, this is Joey Bose here. I wanted to post a video explaining some of the science behind osteoarthritis and our approach to treat it using this A2M protein and address why big pharmaceutical companies have had a hard time really developing a true therapy for osteoarthritis that addresses more than just the symptoms. Now, A2M, this alpha-2 macroglobulin, is a large blood protein that's found naturally in the bloodstream. It's produced in the liver, and in the bloodstream, it plays a role as an anticoagulant by preventing the cleavage of prothrombin into thrombin through a mechanism, you guessed it, called protease inhibition. And so what we're doing is we're leveraging this natural anti-protease activity of the A2M protein to treat osteoarthritis. Now, the, the unbelievable thing about this A2M protein is that it's a broad spectrum protease inhibitor, number one. And number two, it also sequesters cytokines. Now, you might remember that term cytokines during COVID, where the news was reporting that ultimately patients that were infected with SARS-CoV-2 were dying from acute respiratory distress syndrome that was caused by hyperactive cytokine signaling in the lung tissue, right? And these cytokines are pro-inflammatory factors. Again, they play a natural role in modulating the immune system. However, when hyperactive, they can cause hyperinflammation. So A2M is a broad spectrum protease inhibitor that also grabs these cytokines and gets rid of them, right? So Researchers have actually called this the physiological guardian. It's kind of like a bodyguard or a bouncer against inflammation and proteolytic degradation. So what we're doing is we're leveraging the natural function of the A2M to create a super A2M using genetic engineering to make it even better as a more potent protease inhibitor. And that's how we developed Site 108. Site 108 is the 108th variant that we tested for its anti-protease activity relative to the natural A2M. What we're able to see is that we were getting three full times more protease inhibition with Site 108 against a multitude of the proteases involved in osteoarthritis compared to the natural A2M. And that's the foundation for our intellectual property. We know exactly where Site 108 is targeting these proteases and how it's binding to them and getting rid of them.